X25 chain the questions. The faculty members 25 out of 32. Chain the guiding force of order, place and function. Learn to accept your place and the roles you have to play. Quote All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. William Shakespeare, end of quote. After having read and listened to all the questions and answered them, you might come to the conclusion that there is still a lot to learn, and you can learn from these guiding forces by studying them. Go to the playlist of the Magical and or Sacred Council, the Encyclopedia or the Museum of Symbols. Do you stay aware of the fact that when you don't accept your place, that there will be no order and no good functioning of anything? Do you stay aware that you have to play many different roles in your life? And that you can train yourself like good actors do? Do you realize that life is merely a stage where actors come and go? Do you as well stay aware of the fact that nothing is real and forever on this stage, but that you can make the best of the play? Realize that when you take this life and stage for real, that all playfulness will be lost. Do you realize that the chain of your attachments chains you to them and this impermanent world? Do you realize that everything and everybody has an allotted place so things can function and that there is some kind of order to it all to keep some kind of harmony? Are you, in general, accepting your plays and the roles you have to play, or are you constantly complaining, or constantly running away, and ending up in another place where you don't like to be? Realize that when you accept your plays and roles you have to play, that finally the play begins? Are you realizing that wanting the place and roles of others, that you are in the business of competing and comparing, which is a very destructive game? Do you realize what would happen when the sun would not accept its place and would want to come closer to the earth? Are you aware that every item in the house has a specific place? And when you don't put things back in place, that it disturbs the order and that nothing can function properly. Do you see the negative effects in modern nature when mankind starts organizing things how he wants? Are you realizing that there is also a place and order to eat and drink things? in such a way that it assists the well-being and well-functioning of every system of your body? Having a human body comes with a lot of obligations, and to keep it fit and clean are two of them. Know your place and time to speak, for when you don't, things are all over the place and cannot function properly. There is an order to things. When you don't accept your place and the terms you have agreed upon in your professional life, know that you have broken your agreement and a lot of trouble will come forth from this. Are you tuning into the laws of Creator, Universe and Nature? such as the law of change, time, duality and cause and effect, or going against them by doing what you want 
and forgetting that there is a big price to be paid for this. Do you realize that man-made laws come into the play when you don't tune into and live with these laws? Do you regularly make time and sit in a quiet place all by yourself in order to thank the giver? Are you assisting the spirit or soul within to be free from the many identification change you have created?